Hey guys, today I bring you a way to show your player's stats like health and such and also how to make cooldown abilities. So first thing I'll show you is um, just me playing. So in the top left corner, corner you'll see a boolean variable or a boolean saying that's true and in the top right it'll say false. Right, the top right one is just um, am I pressing B and tr uh, the second one in the top left is just saying, uh, can I do my use my ability? And I didn't really create anything with ability, I just used dodge, but as you'll see when I press B, it'll turn the left top left to false, and you'll notice that on top right my thing will be true. So if I spam B as fast as I can, it won't let me dodge until the value turns true again. And then now for the displaying the um, health when hit, you notice that it slowly, uh, whenever I'm hit, it'll show for a quick second um, what my health is, and it'll also do that for enemies as well. Which I actually changed the font on that one. Which I could probably do the same for this. But yeah, so you get the idea. Um, how I did this was I basically, this is all in the player brain, but you could put this in an NPC's brain, but it wouldn't be nearly as. You'd have to put it in every NPC's brain for it to work as well as you like. So, um, this right here, uh, well, first thing you notice is that basically default crap. Um, and then it'll call page dodging. So I'll go into the dodging page. And then once, that means one time, it'll set can dodge equal to true. And then it, that means just initially you will be able to uh, dodge or use your ability or whatever you want to say. Um, and then when B is pressed and can dodge, dodge, and this is just a default dodging tool, um, and set can dodge equal to false. And then if can dodge is equal to false, or if not can dodge, this is just a way, the same, same thing as if can dodge equals false, it's just less tiles. Um, cooldown timer of two seconds, or countdown timer of two seconds, and then after two seconds, it'll set can dodge equal to true again so you can dodge again and then if you go back over here this is just a debugging thing showing you that it would just let you know that I, I actually was spamming B and not just like pressing it every once in a while whatever um, and then um, and then here's the attack hit with the display the um, the health above the um, objects so Whenever the, pl the when atta attack hit pretty much means if this object that the brain is using currently hits when it hits something else or does damage to something else or not necessarily does damage but when it hits an attack on something else, it'll display um, the o the object that it hits health above the object that it hit in large font, uh, um, and this is above the um, object that you hit as well. And when hit by attack, it'll display your health above you. That's pretty much what it means. Um, it's up here. I'm going to go like this. Change large font. It was pretty simple. Uh, this was asked by a guy named... Uh, let me pull up his name quickly. <laughs> uh, Nozif. Um, he was just asking, like... He, I don't know what he's doing, but um, he just wanted me to make this for him. So, on Reddit. And uh, he just asked this on Reddit. And I was like, dude, sure, I'll make it for you. And, yeah. So here you go, I'll show it to you one last time. I can dodge, and it won't let me dodge until two seconds later. But you can change these timers, obviously, to anything that you want, as well as the abilities can be anything. I just didn't... I just show the concept, not really practical use as usual. And then, if I attack, it will slowly lose health, and it will show their health every single time. And yeah. And there you go. Alright. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all later. Here we go. Huge side step. With the delay. Aw, oh, come on. Spamming B? Aw, oh, I messed up. Alright, see y'all. Later.